So I started Poofy Hair Productions to help people who see static. Originally, I thought it was related to dyslexia and ADHD only, but since being di diagnosed with central sleep apnea, I realized that it's directly related th to that too. Basically, what I found out is that visual snow is the most likely cause of the problem, and you have to be diagnosed for it by a neuro-optometrist. Now, the problem is limited blood flow of the optic nerve, optic nerve swelling, or increased cerebral spinal pressure. Now, this can be treated with azomonide. It's, it's on the screen. Let me alone. I'm a dyslexic. When I originally realized that because I see static, I'm dyslexic, I figured out how to get down to one thought process because I could think about three things at the exact same time. I, could figure, I figured out how to find the specific color static that I see so I could get my glasses tinted, but for me, because I'm a severe dyslexic, I wasn't able to do that, but I was able to find it out for people with ADD and ADHD. And I found out about hand tremors and how to reduce them with high blood pressure medication. You have to see a neurologist. Now, I believe the visual snow is the crux of the problem. The visual snow is bombarding my visual cortex with static. That explains the dyslexia, explains me waking up for no apparent reason, and I'm going to be diagnosed for it officially later on this month. I will again, I'll update the video, of course, and, and come out with new ones, but I believe that this is going to have a substantial impact on the few people who are in ADHD and dyslexia who see static. They don't realize they see static then everybody else, you know, everybody else doesn't. Also, with the, the severe central sleep apnea, I think that's going to be directly related to it as well. So they're going to be able to diagnose people with central sleep apnea with ADD and ADHD and dyslexia, um, and vice versa. It should be good. This has been a Poofy Hair production.